Okay, so I've made my Angel Wing Designs um, Mini B. And I've got a couple of special projects for this particular glider, which is going to necessitate me um, trying to carry it in some form of protective box. So I am going to have a go at using the foam board. Now, I've not used foam board much. And I've actually got a couple of big projects. I've got a, an airliner, a um, big 70 inch wind airliner I'm looking to build. So, sort of looking at this as a, as a double sort of whammy, really, is the matter. So, I can get some practice building the box for the Mini B and give me some ideas about how I'm going to actually do the um, airliner. So, First thing, I've come up with a few designs and had a little bit of head scratching and um, I'm not a great one, I've got no great computer skills on designing so um, let's cut to the clip of me doing some prototype work. Okay. The wing box I have made, I'm going to try and do it all in one piece. So the sections are 50 mil, 190, 50, 190. Now, I've got to be honest with you, I am slightly concerned that when I fold it up, because what I'm hoping to do is cut a line down here and then cut them at 45 degrees and fold them up. I am slightly concerned I'm going to lose the height, but I've got plenty of sheets. Let's give it a go. So the idea of this second cut is just to cut through the first layer of paper and actually use the second backing bit of paper as part of the strength. So. Just going to run down there like so, not going deep, but I'm definitely just scoring the top part of the paper, not going all the way through. Okay. There you go. So the idea now is what we're going to do. So I don't know if you can see that or not. I'm going to cut that along there at 45 degrees so that the idea is we'll be able to because I thought that would get a better strength joint than doing it this way I think we could do it that way but what I'd like to do is come back the other way and then fill that with hot glue so the idea is I'm now going to cut this at 45 degrees along here and what I might do is have a practice on my cut bit first I'm going to literally hold it over the bench like so, that's at 45 degrees, and then I'm just going to run the blade across. Good tip is to get the uh, edges right over the end of the table, then support it with the ruler. There you go. Beautiful. Sorry, you're going to lose my head, but I want it for the next shot. So, I have, uh, I'm now going to run, stick this over the table, end of the table. So, this piece is now 90 degrees to that. And what I plan to do is to cut along here at 45 degrees. Now, what I have found is, is that by running the ruler across there helps. And then that will then give you the specific angle to go across. Uh, and that's how I'm going to do it. And I've just put a fresh blade in. Now my... You'll soon get an idea. What we don't want to do is cut through the... Uh, cut through the paper. 
for backing if we can help it. Do that both sides, and then that will um, then mean that having removed the 45 degree angles, it should come up at 90 degrees. Right, so that's basically the box done. I think before we start doing any sticking or gluing, I think what we'll do is, I think we just better make sure that um, it does actually work. Now, there we go. set square that it's square. Right, up one side, I'm just going to carry on doing the rest. So, I've done the sides. Uh, I have 
done an end piece and I just realised I've spent 20 minutes on a YouTube video on how to make a box. <laughs> it was good practice but the next one is going to be a lot more tricky. I think if I was doing it again I could actually cut the shape for that to be part of the actual cutting. But Perfect. So it's not wrapping around, it's just held there. So, anyway, I'm going to do one end and a lid. Let's crack on with the next bit because this is going to be the tricky bit. Thank you. 